wants to get riggedy riggedy wrecked, son. What's good? I'm Adam, nice to meet you. What are your names? What's up everybody? I'm Adam Canopo and today we're gonna be doing some ridiculous pickup lines. Excuse me. Hey, my phone's almost dead. Do you have a spare microverse battery I could use? I don't. Do you need to call someone though? You can use No, I'm, I'm just kidding. That's one excuse to talk to you. I think you're really cute. Oh, thanks. Yeah, uh, what's your name? I'm, I'm Adam, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah, what year are you? Uh, I graduated. Oh, wow, okay. We still make this work. I'm a freshman. Oh, Adam, but that's adorable, but I like work with people your age, so. Yeah, I don't see why exactly this can work. Uh-oh. You gotta get Swifty in here. Shit on the floor. Oh, yeah. Take off your pants and your panties. Shit on the floor. Better get Swifty in here. I'm Mr. Bulldogs. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Yo, what up, my glip gloves? How you doing? Good. What you up to? I'm good. How you doing? What's your name? Oh, you're on the phone right now? Yeah. My bad, my bad. I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So, uh, what dimension are you from? What, what dimension are you from? Dimension? Dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C137. Uh, you? Like the... Yeah, like the, the... Yeah. Give me some life tips. How, how to meet girls. Go. Yeah, okay. So, here's what you do. You go to a bookstore or a library, but people usually aren't using libraries anymore. If a girl is there without headphones on, probably she wants someone to talk to her. Okay. That's really? Tip. Yeah, in general. Wow. Um, okay. Strike up a conversation about a book, suggest a book, that sort of thing, then say like, yeah, like... What's about, like what about like the Kama Sutra? Okay, no. No. Don't get weird from that's not weird. That's not weird. No, it's, it's, weird. A, it's a you know book. It's weird. I like, you it up. I like literature. You know it. And then say, let's talk about it over coffee. Damn, that's that's a long game, huh? Yeah. Stop. You're not looking for the long game. That's so much effort, man. Oh, girl wants someone that's hard to get. What, what if I just like, whip out my portal gun and I just walk through it and I appear somewhere and I'm like, yo, what's good? Uh, I think the laws of physics aren't really going to allow for that at this point in time. I saw it in Rick and Morty once, though. Okay, I don't watch that. What are you guys doing outside on a beautiful day like this? Um, probably the same yeah, thing as everyone does. <laughs> doing some comp side. Doing some comp side? Yeah. Singing some swiftiness? I like it. Sure. I like it. I, I had to come by and, one, share my talent with you, and two, uh, just tell you how beautiful you two are. Do you want a squanch? What is that? Squanch. It's like a, you know? I got a confession. I masturbated to an extra curvy piece of driftwood the other day. It was nice meeting you. Uh, do you want a squanch later? A what? Squanch. The, the game? No, 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 not squash. Uh, squanch, like squanchy, like, like, I'm squanching it, you know what I'm saying? I just think you're really cute. Um, is it cool if I get your number? <laughs> uh, you want my number? Yeah, I think you're beautiful. With a fresh number, I hope you have what's up. I do, I do. So, you find a book that's not the Kama Sutra. Not the Kama Sutra. Uh, make you seem, like, intelligent, a little thoughtful, brooding. It's like a, like a Rick and Morty comic book. No. Fuck. Wow. Wow, I'm fucking Real up. Real bad at this. My favorite books are... That aren't Rick and Morty comic books. Fuck, man. I just want a squanch, man. Just what? I just want a squanch. What? I don't... Yeah, yeah, like just like you know, like you know, like you're in the garage or something, and you're with like this significant other, and then you turn around and you walk in, and, uh, and you hear weird noises in the closet, and you open the closet doors, and you see this fucking cat or whatever, fucking like dangling from a rope, like 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 uh, autoerotic asphyxiating itself. It's like, like get out of here, I'm squanching. You know what I'm saying? Adam. Yes. Sometimes you want to ease into a conversation. And Fuck. you don't want to hit people with all the weird shit going through your mind. What's your dimension code? What? Mine's C137. What? Dimension code? Yeah, yeah, it's like an area code for your dimension. You're 420? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, I, I've been there. It smells rank. <laughs> Wubba lubba dub dub! You know what would really make me happy? What? You, me, Romantic date at McDonald's, Szechuan sauce, all over our bodies. Damn, that sounds enticing. I don't know about that. Enticing is the word you're yeah, thinking I of. I can't say anything about that. Tonight, you, me, we can get ricky ricky wrecked. No. 
no, you need to like radically change how you approach people for sure. But that's a okay. Thing. Okay, that's great. Thing. We're never gonna talk again after this moment. I hope got you it. No, I definitely realize that. Yeah. This is the part where I get your number, right? Okay. Seven zero three. All right. What's your number? Two one six. Two one six. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below your favorite Mick and Morty moment and any ideas you have for the future that you'd like to see me do. A very special shout out to my friend Fly at Chocolate Chip Snow Bunny. She has created a new channel. I'll link to both her old and new ones in the description. Definitely check her out. She's an awesome person. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll squat you later.